Stories About Legends it is series about most iconic cars in the world. In this video we will tell you a short story about BMW M3 E30. Now let's begin! The first BMW M3 was based on the E33 series and was intended to be a homologation special to satisfy the Deutsche Turnlagen Meisterschaft and Group A touring rules, which required a total of 5,000 cars to be built. It was presented to the public at the 1985 Frankfurt Motor Show and began production from March 1986 to June 1991. The E30 M3 was mainly produced in the coupe body style, but limited volumes of convertibles were also produced. The front splitter, the rear apron, sill panels, as well as changes to the body in the area of the rear window, C-pillar, and the boot lid improved the aerodynamics. For aerodynamic reasons, the rear window was flattened and the tailgate was made of light, glass-reinforced plastic raised by approximately 40 mm for better airflow. The changes over the rear of the car resulted in lower lift forces and better straight-line stability. The only exterior body panels the regular 3 Series and the M3 shared were the bonnet, roof panel, sunroof and inner door panels. The brake calipers, rotors and master cylinder were unique to the M3 model. The transmission was a Getrag 265 5-speed manual. European models were outfitted with a dogleg version with close ratios and a 1 to 1 ratio for fifth gear. North American models used a traditional shift pattern and had wider gear spacing with an overdriven fifth gear. A clutch type limited slip differential was standard equipment. In 2004, Sports Car International named the E30 M3 No. 6 on the list of top sports cars of the 1980s. In 2007, Automobile Magazine included the E30 M3 in their 5 Greatest Drivers' Cars of All Time under their 25 Greatest Cars of All Time. The E30 M3 used the BMW S14 4-cylinder engine, a high-revving DOHC design with a head closely based on that of the BMW S38 6-cylinder engine and the block from the BMW M10 4-cylinder engine with a 7,250 RPM redline. In countries where the M3 was sold with a catalytic converter, the initial versions were rated at 143 kilowatts and had a top speed of 235 kilometers per hour. In countries where a catalytic converter was not fitted, the engine was rated at 147 kilowatts. In 1989, the sportier Evolution model, also called EV01, of European M3S were upgraded to the 158 kilowatts, as introduced on the Rebellia Special Edition model, increasing the top speed to 240 kilometers per hour. Non-catalytic converter Evolution model, also called EV02, introduced in 1988 was rated at 162 kilowatts. Other changes included larger wheels, thinner rear and side window glass, a lighter boot lid, a deeper front splitter and an additional rear spoiler. A total of 505 cars were produced, including 40 sold in France as the Tour de Course. A more powerful and lighter Sport Evolution model, sometimes referred to as EV03, with a limited production run of 600 units, was produced with an upgraded 2,467 cubic centimeters engine rated at 175 kilowatts at 7,000 rpm and 240 Nm at 4,750 rpm. The top speed was increased to 250 km per hour. Sport Evolution models have enlarged front bumper openings and an adjustable multi-position front splitter and rear wing. Brake cooling ducts were installed in place of front fog lights. In April 1989, the Revalia and Cicada Limited Editions were released, both named after Deutsche Tourenwagen Meisterschaft DTM, racing drivers. Power was increased to 158 kilowatts with a catalytic converter. Cicado edition production consisted of 480 cars, plus 80 cars for the Swiss market detuned to 155 kilowatts to meet Swiss emissions limits. The production run for the Revalia edition consisted of 25 cars. In 1986, BMW produced an M3 pickup prototype pickup truck, based on the convertible model. 
the M3 pickup used the narrower body of regular E30 models and was originally powered by the 2.0-liter version of the S14 engine from the Italian specification M3. It was used by BMW M as a transporter for roughly 26 years before it was officially retired in 2012. The E30 M3 competed in many forms of motorsport and was highly successful in touring car racing. In full race trim, the 1988 M3's 2.3L 140CUN naturally aspirated engine was rated at approximately 221 kilowatts. The E30 M3 won the 24 Hours Nürburgring five times, 1989, 1990, 1991, 1992 and 1994, and the Spa 24 Hours four times, 1987, 1988, 1990 and 1992, often competing against cars with significantly larger or turbocharged engines. To keep the car competitive and racing following year-to-year -year homologation rules changes, homologation specials were produced and sold in limited volumes. These include the Evo 1, Evo 2, and Sport Evolution, with upgrades including weight reduction, improved aerodynamics, taller front wheel arches, to allow 18-inch wheels to be used in DTM racing, bigger brake ducts, and more power output from the engine. With the introduction of the 2.5L Evolution engine into racing in 1990, power increased to approximately 279 kilowatts. The M3 also competed as a rally car, with ProDrive prepared examples contesting several national championships and selected rounds of the World Rally Championship between 1987 and 1989. By the latter year, the cars, based on the regular M3, were equipped with six-speed gearboxes and were rated at 221 kilowatts. The M3 was not very competitive with the four-wheel drive cars on loose surfaces, but it was a very effective car on asphalt. Its most notable success was a victory on the Tour de Course in 1987, driven by Bernard Begin. Total production of the E30 M3 was 17,970 cars. Thank you for attention, and stay tuned for the next story from Barrage Number 1.